Hello everybody. In this video I will demonstrate how to configure Amazon OpenSearch ingestion to ingest Amazon Security Lake logs and events in near real time, reducing the time taken to index your security data in Amazon OpenSearch service and uncover valuable insights into potential security issues. Amazon Security Lake automatically centralizes security data from AWS environments, SaaS providers, on-premise and cloud sources into a purpose-built data lake stored in your account. Amazon Security Lake makes it easier to analyze security data, gain a more comprehensive understanding of security across your entire organization, and improve the protection of your workloads, applications, and data. Amazon Security Lake automates the collection and management of your security data across accounts and AWS regions so that you can use your preferred analytics tools while retaining control and ownership over your data. Amazon Security Lake automatically collects logs for AWS CloudTrail, Amazon Virtual Private Clouds, VPC, Amazon Route 53, Amazon Simple Storage Service, Amazon S3, and AWS Lambda. With Security Hub enabled, additional findings will be collected from services such as AWS Config, Amazon Guard Duty, Amazon Inspector, Amazon Macy, and from over 50 partners. With Amazon Security Lake, your team of analysts and security engineers can get broad visibility to investigate and respond to security events, facilitating timely responses and to improve your security across multi-cloud and hybrid environments. The Open Cybersecurity Schema Framework, OCSF, is an open source project delivering an extensible framework for developing schemas along with vendor agnostic core security schema. Vendors and other data producers can adopt and extend the schema for their specific domains. Data engineers can map differing schemas to help security teams simplify data ingestion and normalization so the data scientists and analysts can work with a common language for threat detection and investigation. By Amazon Security Lake adopting the OCSF, the service normalizes and combines security data from AWS and a broad range of enterprise security data sources. Amazon OpenSearch service securely unlocks real-time search, monitoring and analysis of business and operational data for use cases like application monitoring, log analytics, observability, and website search. Amazon OpenSearch Service is a managed service that uses machine learning to detect anomalies early so you can identify a problem's root cause. Amazon's OpenSearch Service provides integration with other AWS services and a choice of open source engines, including OpenSearch and ALV2 Elasticsearch. To help visualize results and share data stories, the service includes OpenSearch dashboards or Kibana for version 7.10 and earlier. Amazon OpenSearch ingestion is a feature of Amazon OpenSearch service that allows you to ingest, filter, transform, enrich, and root data to an Amazon OpenSearch domain or serverless collection. Amazon OpenSearch ingestion is capable of ingesting data from a wide variety of sources and has a rich ecosystem of built-in processes to take care of your most complex data transformation needs. Amazon OpenSearch ingestion is serverless in nature and will scale automatically to meet the requirements of your most demanding workloads, helping you focus on your business logic while abstracting away the complexity of managing data pipelines for your observability and security use cases. I will demonstrate how to configure Amazon Security Lake and configure Amazon OpenSearch ingestion to ingest logs and events from Amazon Security Lake into an existing OpenSearch domain and confirming the events are being received and indexed by the OpenSearch domain. In the AWS organization I am using, Amazon Security Lake has already been enabled for all accounts, supported regions, and log sources. If you are following along in your own accounts, then verify that you have Amazon Security Lake enabled with at least one account, region, and log source, so there are logs and events available for ingestion. For more details about Amazon Security Lake, refer to our other videos. To begin, let's switch to the AWS Security Lake service in the AWS console for the organization management account. I will be using the console However, the same steps can be completed using the AWS APIs and CLI. With Amazon Security Lake enabled, a summary page details the current status of Amazon Security Lake, including regions enabled, rollup regions, issues, and subscribers. The first steps to enable ingestion into OpenSearch is to create a subscriber. To start this, navigate to the subscribers page. An Amazon Security Lake subscriber consumes logs and events from Amazon Security Lake. To create a subscriber, select Create Subscriber. Enter a name to identify the subscriber. In this case, I will use Amazon OpenSearch Ingestion. Optionally, enter a description. 
Selecting the option Specific Log and Event Sources allows you to limit the subscriber to a subset of logs and events to meet your requirements. In my case, I wish to subscribe to all, so I'll leave the default All Log and Event Sources selected. Select S3 as the Data Access method, which specifies that OCSF formatted data will be retrieved from the S3 buckets managed by Amazon Security Link. For the subscriber credentials, add the AWS account ID of the AWS account where you intend to create the pipeline. And for the external ID, specify a value for identification that meets your requirements. I will use open search and gesture followed by the account ID. For notification details, choose SQS queue and then select create. This will place an SQS message in the queue with details of any unprocessed S3 objects, allowing open search and gestion to be notified and process new logs and events. When you create a subscriber, Security Lake automatically creates an IAM role with two inline permission policies, one for S3 and one for SQS. To allow the open search and gestion pipeline to access the subscriber sources, we must associate the required permissions with a pipeline role that can be used by open search and gestion. To determine the IAM role for the subscriber, select the newly created subscriber name to open up the details page. The IAM role ID is displayed on the top of this page along with details of the subscriber configuration. Copy the name of the role in the form of Amazon Security Lake ID and switch the IAM console roles page and search for the role name. Selecting this role and expanding out the inline policies we are able to review the permissions. The pipeline role will require a subset of these permissions, which is get object, which is the read permissions to the S3 bucket security lake stores the log and event data, and receive message and delete message to the SQS main queue for this subscriber, which is used by the pipeline to manage the processing of new events and logs. I will copy these policies for use later. Next, navigate to the policies page and select create policy. Switch to the JSON editor and paste in both policies, merging and removing any actions that are required. For more details on the required policies, refer to the AWS documentation. Once complete, select Next. Enter the policy name, an optional description and tags, followed by selecting Create Policy. It is important to note that Security Lake doesn't manage this pipeline role policy for you. If you add or remove sources from your Security Lake subscription, you must manually update the policy to reflect the changes. Security Lake creates partitions for each log source, so you need to manually add or remove permissions in the pipeline role. Next, we create a role to be assumed by open search and gestion pipelines using this policy by navigating to the roles page and selecting create role. Select AWS service for the trusted identity and open search ingestion pipelines for the use case, and then select next. For the permissions, search for and select the policy created in the last step and then select next. Enter the role name and optional description and tags, review the permissions, and then select create role. The role would require additional permissions for Amazon Open Search endpoints and S3 for the dead letter queues. Search for and select the role, followed by add permissions and create inline policy. I will use the JSON editor and copy in a policy to allow the pipeline role to describe all Amazon OpenSearch domains and interact with all Amazon OpenSearch endpoints within this account and get and put object permissions on an S3 bucket I've created for the dead letter queue. For additional security, it is recommended to specify each required Amazon OpenSearch domain and use conditional statements for the source account and ARN of the account that owns the pipeline to avoid the confused deputy problem. With the policy specified, select next, Enter a name for the policy, then select Create Policy. The next step is to allow access to the open search domain that will be the destination of the pipeline for the IAM role that will be assumed by the pipeline. I'll start by navigating to the open search service, Domains, selecting the domain I have created for this demo called Security Lake, navigating to Security Configuration, and then selecting Edit. The IAM role created will be added to the access policy using the visual editor. I'll add the role ARN by selecting add new element, selecting the type as IAM ARN, entering the principal ARN of the role previously created and the action to allow before scrolling to the bottom and selecting save changes.
Adding the role to the access policy allows the role to interact with the OpenSearch endpoint, but does not provide permissions within the domain to add data to the indices. So next, I'll switch to the OpenSearch dashboard, navigate to Security, Roles, and select All Access. This role has permission to read and write data across all tenants and in indexes. I will map the pipeline role to this OpenSearch role by navigating to Mapped Users, selecting Manage Mapped Users, selecting Add Another Backend Role, copying in the ARN of the pipeline role from the previous steps, and selecting Map. The last step is to create the OpenSearch ingestion pipeline. So navigating back to the Amazon OpenSearch service in the AWS console, and selecting Ingestion Pipelines, and selecting Create Pipeline. Enter the pipeline name and select the desired capacity by entering the minimum and maximum ingestion open search compute units, OCUs, to automatically scale your pipeline based on your current workload. Each ingestion OCU is a combination of approximately 8 gigabytes of memory and two vCPUs. For the pipeline configuration, select the configuration blueprints drop down and select AWS Security Lake S3 Parquet OCSF Pipeline Blueprint. A pipeline configuration is in YAML format and describes the pipeline's source, zero or more processors, and one or more sinks. The sink will always be one or more OpenSearch service domains or OpenSearch serverless collections. With the template loaded, we will need to update some variables. On line 27, uncomment and set the queue URL. This is the SQS queue URL for the main queue, which can be retrieved from the SQS console. On line 34, uncomment and set the region of the SQS queue. Line 36, uncomment and set the STS role ARN for the ARN of the role created in the previous step, available from the IAM console. Line 53, uncomment and set the hosts, which is the open search service domain endpoint, available from the OpenSearch Service Console. Line 56, uncomment and set the STS role ARN, the ARN the role created in the previous step. Line 58, uncomment and set the region for the OpenSearch domain. To enable a dead letter queue for the pipeline, use an existing bucket or create a new one for this purpose, and then uncomment and set the relevant fields on line 63, 64, 66, 68, 70, and 72. Once all fields are set, select Validate Pipeline to detect any potential issues, resolving any that are identified. Next, select the required VPC, subnets, and security groups that will provide the pipeline connectivity to the S3 bucket, SQS queue, and OpenSearch domain. Using a VPC with VPC endpoints enhances security as removes the need for data to traverse the public networks and allows more granular controls with network access control lists, security groups, and VPC endpoint policies. In my case, as this is not a production implementation, I will select public access. Enter any required tags and optionally configure logging to CloudWatch logs to provide access to information about errors or warnings the pipeline may encounter. Then select Next. Review the settings and then press Create Pipeline. The pipeline takes a few minutes to create. You can verify the status by selecting the pipeline name and selecting View Details next to the status. And if enabled, you can review CloudWatch logs for additional details. Whilst the pipeline is deploying, let's switch to the SQS and look at the queue for the subscriber. As there are new logs and events being captured by Amazon Security Lake, but no pipeline to process them, the number of messages in the queue is increasing. With the pipeline deployed, the number of messages begins to drop as they are processed. With the pipeline processing the messages, I'll switch over to the destination OpenSearch service dashboard and navigate to index management. Here we observe the messages from Security Lake are being populated and so are now ready to be configured in visualizations, used in searches, and used plugins such as security analytics to detect security anomalies. That's it. In this video, you learned how to configure Amazon Security Lake and ingest the data into Amazon OpenSearch using Amazon OpenSearch ingestion, making the logs and events available for visualization and searching for insights. For more details of any of the services mentioned today, check out the links on the screen.